TBTL. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Hey Dummies. I'm Andrew and I will be your dummy today. This is the uh, TBTL newsletter video where we answer your questions. You can email me, Andrew, at tbtl.net with any question that's on your mind. It can be about the show, about our personal lives, or about the region we live in. That's what Dan writes in about today. Dan says, I have a regional question. Told you. Uh, Dan says, occasionally you guys mention teriyaki joints, and often it's not in the most positive way. For instance, Luke recently mentioned that the lighting is not so great in these places. Would you describe what these places are like for those of us not in the Pacific Northwest? I know what teriyaki is. But down here in Florida, we just go to Japanese restaurants for it. Yeah, I know that teriyaki is not exclusive, obviously, to this region. But this style of sort of like luncheonette, this teriyaki luncheonette is very kind of specific to Seattle and maybe the greater Pacific Northwest. I don't remember the details well enough to tell you the whole history of it, but I do believe it is linked back to a very specific, like a, a certain Japanese American who I think opened up one of these um, kind of Seattle style teriyaki places a long time ago. And it sort of became kind of a regional burgeoning uh, industry or, or restaurant industry. And uh, what I've done is I've gone online and I've tried to like find various photos to kind of show you. So basically, before we get into the photos, I'll try to explain it. Um, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I hope that I'm not like when Dan says that we describe them in not the most positive way. I love teriyaki joints, but they're not the type of places where you would like go for like a nice night out on the town for a nice dinner. You wouldn't celebrate your anniversary there. Again, they tend to be like kind of places you go for takeout or for lunch. Um, and so when Luke says the lighting isn't so great, you know, it's not like nice warm lighting. I imagine we might have said, like, you don't want to sit in a bar that has the lighting of a teriyaki joint because the lighting of a teriyaki joint is going to be like the the lighting of a cafeteria, you know, probably like drop ceilings and fluorescent lights or something like that. Let's look at some pictures here. So I'm going to start with a photo of the exterior of a place I used to go to a lot in my old neighborhood of Wallingford. Uh, this place is called Teriyaki Madness. Now, you've probably heard us talk about this a lot because I don't know why it's called Teriyaki Madness. It sounds like a mental health disorder um and it's not it's a restaurant and i think it's a bizarre name and i also think the signage and logo is even more bizarre take a look at this this is from google street maps i grabbed this image their logo spells out madness like it's a ransom note and it's definitely scary a little bit intimidating but the food is not intimidating the food is good in fact this is a good example of what it looks like you see the rice in one of the classic takeout clamshell containers alongside the you know it's usually i think it's usually chicken thighs but it might be chicken breast uh chopped up like that and then um you know, dressed with some teriyaki sauce. The one thing that's missing from this particular photo, though, is the third key ingredient of a teriyaki lunch, which is the little green salad. It's always white rice, a little green salad, and the teriyaki itself. You can see that here, we don't have the, the classic takeout containers here, but there you have the green salad, the chicken teriyaki, and the rice in that plate up front, along with a couple of egg rolls. In the back, that looks like that might be I'm guessing pork teriyaki along with chicken teriyaki, although I guess it could be beef. I've never had beef teriyaki. Uh, here's another uh, picture of teriyaki. I can't remember where this one is from, um, but you can see this. The chicken looks a little drier here. Maybe it hasn't been dressed yet in the teriyaki, or maybe it's just a different style. But again, the classic takeout container, a little bit of rice, a little bit of salad, your teriyaki. And then in this one, you have some gyoza as well. I think I'm saying that correctly, those uh, kind of deep fried dumplings. I love those things as well. Now, Dan also asked about not just the food, but the interiors. And here, take a look at this. This is um, this is the sign like you order up at the counter. And this is the sign at Teriyaki Madness in Wallingford to sort of give you the the vibe that I was talking about. You order from the menu off the wall. Here's a photo of a place I've never been to before, but it looks like it's not too far from me. Uh, this is a place called Sunny Teriyaki. I think of this as Again, I haven't seen this firsthand, but based on this photo that I grabbed from the internet, this is like quintessential teriyaki joint vibe here in Seattle. Drop ceilings, uh, fluorescent lighting up in the ceiling. 
I don't know how to describe those types of tables and chairs, but I feel like it's always those types of tables and chairs in a place like this. And again, you usually order at the counter off of the menu on the wall. Here's one last photo that I grabbed. This is again from Nasai Teriyaki, which is in the University District, a place where um, I used to go a lot. This used to be my go-to teriyaki joint. And you see they have um, posters on the wall, you know, letting you know about what's going on in the community. But then, of course, random license plates for some reason that I'm still not quite sure of. So there you go. That is a little, uh, I, I don't know if that was helpful or not, but when I say teriyaki joint, that is the kind of place that I am talking about. Um, in Seattle, usually it's a lunch place and maybe some takeout for dinner as well. So Dan, I hope that helped. Uh, I love teriyaki joints. If you ever hear me speaking disparagingly of them, uh, I apologize. That is not what I want to put out into the universe. In fact, there is a... Very good chance I will go out and get myself some teriyaki right now. And that's on you, Dan. I'll send you the bill. Thanks, everybody. If you have any questions for us, again, email me, andrew at tbtl.net, and we'll talk. Oh, look, you got a, well, let's let's be decent here, but you got a rare um, Professor Bananas sighting here. It's almost um, dinner time. It's like 4.30 right now, and uh, we feed the cats at 5, so starting around 4 o'clock, Bananas will start coming in here and just sort of circling my desk as she gets anxious for dinner time. So I'm glad you got to see a little bit of that. I'm sorry that it was the um, wrong end of the cat. Hi, 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 Bananas. Do you want to say hello? No. thought maybe we were going to get something there. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday.